Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This is Lady Blacks again. I wanted to jump on here real quick to first of all say I miss y'all. Um, I apologize I haven't been on making content for the last couple of days. I've just been really busy with family stuff, studying day to day and things of that nature. So I'm just trying to figure out how to balance it all. I appreciate y'all's patience in the meantime, but I will be back on. We're going to do what we normally do on this channel. There's going to be more positive stuff because I know that we need a break from all the kerfuffles and the violence. Um, but we're also going to be continuing our normal discussions um, about the violence just to raise awareness as well because it's all important. So stand by. It's coming. I appreciate y'all's patience. But I did want to jump on here real quick to make a public service announcement because... There has been some drama over the last couple of days. Now, just so y'all know, we're going to be using more creative words on this channel because we're trying to behave and we're trying not to upset the algorithm. So I'm just going to refer to these individuals as hyenas. Um, hyenas are going to be my replacement word for nacre from time to time on this channel. I may still slip and say the normal word, but... For now, we're going to call them hyenas. There has been some drama with some hyenas, some sub supposed allies of black women. One of these hyenas I didn't know of. Um, but this hyena called himself supporting other BWE channels and divestment channels because he was uh, trying to make a bag. Because he showed his his butt the other day when he invited another hyena who was making very serious threats against a black woman on his platform and he didn't check him. So this is why I love Divested Zealot. Because um, she keeps it all the way real. She keeps it all the way spicy. And she's very much my speed for somebody um, in my particular case i've been divested for 10 years so i'm like well into this thing but i'm glad that um i'm subscribed to her because every now and again we do need these reminders i'm speaking for myself here because i have allowed myself to be convinced that there are a couple of unicorns on this space that support black women and this particular situation that went down made it clear that there's no such thing as unicorns. And I already knew this, but I'm glad I'm, I'm subscribed to DZ because she, anytime she jumps on, she's going to amplify that reminder to black women <laughs> that listen to her and follow her that there's no such thing as unicorns and this particular situation proved her right once again and I already knew this but like I said I have been in my divested bubble for the last 10 years in my real life and I'm just now joining into this space over the last couple of months and so following different uh black women in this space that I support and that I admire um I have allowed some of those black women to convince me that there are some supportive hyenas in this space that are looking to protect and looking for the embitterment of black women. And I just don't think that's true. <laughs> and this particular situation that went down with this hy these hyenas proved that. So we have the one hyena that I didn't know about who was allowing some threatening hyena on his platform. Apparently, he's like a struggle rapper. The hyena that was hosting the platform was fanning out, didn't check the hyena for his threats against that black woman. And then another hyena did go on there to check this hyena for fanning out. But in, in, in listening to the conversation go down between these two hyenas, I ended up finding out that the one hyena that was checking this hyena also has a shady pass. Now, I just so happen to support this hyena because 
BWE channels that I support were saying it's okay to support this particular hyena. But it turns out he even has like a DV history. He has multiple babies, moms. And I'm just like, oh my God, this is like literally the the uh, symptoms of the hyenas that we go against in this space. And then there was another hyena that had nothing to do with this situation that I previously supported or not supported, but just subscribed to. And I like um, reacted to one of his videos because I did like how he defended a black woman um, it, at, at a point. And I, I did like that about him. And I'm like, OK, this is an ally. But then I see every time my vi his videos are being suggested to me, he's doing some sort of mixtape or rap or freestyle of some kind. And I'm just like, see, this is exactly why we should just like not trust any of them. So this is my public service announcement. Since I publicly support channels on this platform, I'm letting it be, know, be known here and now that um, I'm just going to assume that all hyenas are part of the collective that we go against in this space. Because like DZ says, if they're going to be allies, they're going to be allies whether or not we're subscribed to them, whether or not we support them. You know what I mean? So I'm just letting it be known. This is a public service announcement. I am not going to be publicly supporting, uh, also known as subscribing to any more hyenas on this channel. It's only going to be black women. It's only going to be BWWM channels and maybe white men that are allies. Um, I just think that this situation that went down over the last couple of days is very telling. And um, it just goes to show you that we can't trust these hyenas. So this is my public service announcement. I wanted to jump on here and say it real quick. I will no longer be subscribed to or publicly supporting any more hyenas on this channel. Not that there were many before, but there's definitely going to be zero. And I suggest that everybody continue to just ignore these hyenas that are pandering to black women and saying that they're allies. Because every time they have an opportunity to be on code, they be on code. All right. But I just wanted to jump on here real quick just to say hi. Just to jump on here and make this announcement real quick. Don't come for me, y'all, because... I believed uh, a BWE channel, um, a black woman, when they said that these hyenas were good people. Don't come for me. Um, <laughs> because I thought that because they got the, the, the support of the black woman that maybe they were unicorns. But at the end of the day, there is no such thing as unicorns. But that's all I got for y'all. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see y'all soon in the next one. Thank you for listening to my rant. Bye.